In this video, we'll look at whether MgNO32 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. This is magnesium nitrate. So to figure that out, we have to know the equation that produces the magnesium nitrate, the neutralization reaction. We can see we have our acid, this is HNO3 nitric acid, and then a base, MgOH2, magnesium hydroxide. They react to form our magnesium nitrate and then water. And this is a neutralization reaction. So to use the rules here, we need to know the strength of each substance. And we can use this table here to help us. So on the table, as we look down, we're looking for nitric acid, HNO3, which is right here, nitric acid. That's a strong acid, right? SA up here, so we can remember that. For MgOH2, the magnesium hydroxide, it's not on our list of strong bases, and it's not on our list of weak bases. In general, this is considered to be a strong base, but it only dissolves a little bit. That little bit, it breaks apart completely. It dissociates into its ions, so we do say it's a strong base. But because only so little dissolves, there are some people that do say it's weak. We're going to consider it a strong base here to figure out whether this resulting magnesium nitrate will be acetic, basic, or neutral. Okay, so now we can use our rules. We have a strong acid and a strong base. So here's a strong base and a strong acid. Yep, strong acid, strong base. When they react in this neutralization reaction, the resulting salt, the magnesium nitrate, will be neutral, have a pH of seven. So in answer to our question, MgNO32 in water, it forms a neutral solution. Really, the best way to settle the argument on whether this is a strong base or a weak base would be to do the reaction and then test the pH of the solution. I think that you would find the pH of the solution would be very close to neutral. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.